Last time we looked at the issue of the probability of a type 1 error, right? And we said that's the same thing as the significance level. Of course, the type 1 error is the probability of concluding that there is a difference when, when in fact there isn't. So our data provide us with a significant p-value when in fact there is no difference in the population. Well, let's look at how that can be viewed from the point of view of power. Well, remember, the power of a test is the probability of a correct conclusion under the alternative, meaning assuming that the alternative is correct. But if the alternative is correct and we end up with an incorrect conclusion, that means we've done a type 2 error, right? Now, the probability of a type 2 error is often denoted by the Greek letter beta, just like the significance was denoted by the Greek letter alpha. And therefore, you're often going to see the power reported as the 1 minus the probability of a type 2 error, or in uh, formula or in uh, no strange notation as 1 minus beta. Again, I'm telling you these things mostly because uh, you're going to find these expressions in research papers and you want to make sure that you understand what, uh, what it means. So power and probability of type 2 error are related in the sense that their sum is always 1. Remember, both of them are done under the assumption that the alternative is correct. Okay, so if the alternative is correct, either we come up with the right conclusion, that's power, or we come out with the wrong conclusion, that's a type 2 error. So both of them together come up with 1. There's one final point related to the power of a test, and in fact related to testing in general. Now, let's say that you have a question in mind or you're doing a research. It may at the beginning look like if we're doing more tests, we are increasing power. Why? Because we're increasing the probability of finding something interesting. Eh, but remember, that's not what power is. It's not the probability of finding something interesting. Power is the probability of uh, finding a difference if there is one. Okay? In fact, we need to look at this from a different point of view. Every time you do a test, there is a chance of error. Sometimes it can be a type 1 error, sometimes there can be a type 2 of error. It's sort of like similar to every time you do something which, with the potential for danger, well, there is a possibility that something uh, bad is going to happen, right? Well, if you do more tests, that's sort of like engaging in a dangerous kind of activity repeatedly. Sooner or later, you may end up making a mistake. And therefore, if we do more tests, that increases the probability of getting one error out of one of those tests. Okay. So sometimes in research papers, you're going to find some really interesting results, interesting from uh, the point of statistical point of view, and sometimes this, some results that may even look clinically interesting, but which may be due simply to sampling error. In other words, they've done so many tests that one of them just happened to be uh, incorrect by chance. Okay, so this is something that to be kept in mind when you see a paper that uh, reports many, 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 many um, p-values. That means that many, many tests were done. Well, if only a few of those p-values are significant, well, probably that means that uh, you know there is a possibility that, that those values, uh, those p-values, are not due to real existing differences, but to chance errors. Um, in order to take that into account, quite often researchers, uh, what they do is they adjust the significance level and or the power of the test in order to compensate for uh, this problem and making sure that uh, these kind of spurious uh, results, misleading results, do not happen as easily.